Hello everyone, today we're going to be creating a new character in Lap Offline. And this is a tutorial video of how we're going to do this. So let me just find a video where I'm showing how you can create a new character. And I believe you can use original assets on this one. So yeah, I'll be showing you how you can do that. If you don't have custom assets, that's fine. I understand if you don't want your movie to be corrupted. I'm feeling the same way as some of you. So, yeah. Also, I'm not even sure if the Lab Offline team has tested the custom assets thing. I tend to make my videos play one Lab Offline without even creating a new one over and over again. So, I'm not sure if that will corrupt my movie with custom assets, so I'm not quite sure, which is why I'm using original asset. So, there's the answer. Anyway, let's find this character. This is the character we're going to be using in this video today. Yes, that's why I'll be showing you how you quick with Childish Teenager. Thank you all for even asking it anyway. Just go open it up, baby cam. That's the character we're, we're going to be creating, so there you go, all of you. Let's wait for Bandit Camera World, that way I can screenshot the character because Windows 8.1 does not come with snip, snipping tools, so I use Bandit Cam to screenshot the character. Okay, we're just gonna make the custom size here. Okay, wait. No, not custom size. I don't. That be into my company. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll just use the wiki size. And then I'm just gonna wait like, that would be entire scene. Okay. We need to get that out of the way. There you go. I think that's where we, we were at. I think if I'm right here, folks, then we were definitely at that point. And then we're just gonna do that there, there you go. Like that. And now we're just gonna boop, screenshot it just like that. And then we're gonna do HTML color codes. We're gonna bring out our good friend HTML color codes dot info. You want to get colors from the characters. Oh, sorry about the fall. Zoom in. I actually used this website the other day, and I'm also zooming a bit too far, because that is not supposed to work like that. Anyway, we're back now, and up on with our suits. Document to Betty Cam, that's always where our file is working, you all should know that. And there you go, there's the character we're going to be creating. So, we'll go to next. Except it, we're going, what we're going to do next, create a new character, obviously. Uh, before you all ask, the reason why I'm not using Wrap Off Wire on my school computer anymore, because, well, you see, I can't open Wrap Off Wire on my school laptop anymore, so this is really the only computer I'll be using. But don't worry, y'all. I'll be getting a new laptop soon. Let me show you what it's called. We go to the website. It's called the Framework Laptop 13, the most module laptop I've ever seen. 
I'm going to be using the 11th gen model to make my videos. And please show the graphics will be good as well. And the RAM too. Because I'm going to be getting a DIY edition of a laptop. Let me show you the laptop I'll be getting. Let me just go very well, very well laptop 13. Okay. This is what I'm going to be getting. Hopefully, this is what I'll be getting, an Intel Core i7 laptop with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and 250 gigabytes of, hold on, let me take a look at the storage. Pretty sure the storage is located here, memory and storage, there we go. This is the kind of RAM I'll be getting. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. I'm pretty sure that these kind of RAMs are very good for the laptop. And then I'll be getting this 250 gigabytes Western Digital Black SN770 NVMe SSD. That's what I'll be getting. So yeah, there you go. There's the stuff specs I'll be getting. And then. Hold on, we're not done yet. I'm also getting an Intel Wi-Fi card. Let me show you a card I'm getting. Pretty sure this will make a good internet connection, but you all, you always want to have good internet. Hold on, let me go back to it. Sorry guys, this is taking a lot of time. That's why I'm using this for tutorials, because the any cam is actually limited. So yeah, that's why I'm using this. Click here, or you can just click on the sidebar here, and it will bring up your options. I can't, it will get annoying, even if you are here, like, they should fix this menu, they should like fix that, but at least the laptops are still good. So yeah, I'm getting a DOI edition. Like I said before, okay, my apologies here, folks. Should have clicked that instead. Never mind. Oops, okay, I'll just head to the market. Oh, there you go. Try and go back to the laptop, folks. I do apologize. And yes, credit goes to Anthony, the Grammy Cock Guy 2K6 for the character I'm creating. So there you go, folks. We go to the Wi Fi card. This how I'll drag it to the tab. This will, and this is the Wi-Fi card I'll be getting. So this is the Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX210 of the Pro Wi-Fi card. That's what I'll be getting, folks. And this is going to be really good specs too. And hopefully this helps out with video editing and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, folks, there you all go. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's what, that's what I might use that laptop for. And Davis TV Studio, you've been watching this? No, I will not be installing Windows 10 or 11 or that. I might be installing Linux. That's what I might be doing. Since these laptops, I'm getting kind of no OS. So, I'll be installing Linux, if you're asking me, David. So, yeah, there you go. That's what, that's what I'm going to be, what what I'm gonna be planning to do. So, yeah. Or install Windows 7 or another partition too, if I can. So, just for testing purposes. Not really a personal operating system to use, but just for testing purposes, I might be doing that. So, yeah. There you go. And it's back to the character. Let's see. What, we, what we're going to be doing here is making his hair the that color, pretty much. Just go to it real quick. Find it. I'm pretty sure it's here somewhere. Sorry for talking a lot today. I have a really long day, so 
expect me to talk a lot in these videos. And I'm pretty sure the eyebrows look pretty much like this. Pretty sure. If you're watching this, then please tell me what they look like. If any, please tell me what they look like if you're watching this, because I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm trying the best regardless. So I'm just gonna assume these things are black. Okay, we got that covered. And then we've got a white and dark green shirt, it looks like. I think I have that listed on my original assets because if it didn't, then it would be pretty bad. It's my hex coded. Wait. Guys, I don't think I copied it. Hold on real quick. Let me copy it again. I don't think I copied it. That's why. Yeah, that's why my CTLB isn't working. There we, there we go. Now it's working. And do that. There we go. It should be. Wait. Wrong color, folks. I do apologize. Wrong color. Well, don't blame me. I'm just trying to rest to this character wherever I can with my resources. Man. There we go, that looks much accurate now. That looks a lot better. Oh, and I'm off nose. We need to change that too. We need to change that to this nose. Gotta make this video quick, folks, because I have a FaceTime section in a few minutes. And we're, we're gonna put these pants on the user. Play sure. Yeah, I got it correct. I'm pretty sure that's him. So let's save a character. There we go, folks. That's our character. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe for more character creation videos. I will see you next time. Goodbye now.